Do you see this nonsense our governor signed? People are like, well, you know, there's really not a nefarious plan. Y'all just ten full hat wearers. You need to, you need to adjust the rabbit ears on your TV because you, you just, y'all just crazy. Really? Why don't you read for yourself what our governor, which by the way, will not get reelected because I'm telling you, he is a coward of a, I don't care how much he talks about Jesus. Bill Lee's a coward. You can tell him I said so. He's a noodle. He's a waffler. Willy nilly nonsense opening up Tennessee to this bunch of craziness going on. I ain't voting for him again. I'm, I'm ashamed I voted for him the first time. By the way, Trump ain't going to endorse him either. I can promise you that right now. But nonetheless, I'm about to get fired up. Did, did, did you see the executive order he just signed for COVID-19? It's like 22 paragraphs long. You know the two things that bother me the most? Call me whatever you will. This is the facts. The facts, Jax. The facts. Two things, well, three things, one of which is anybody that has a medical license can now practice in Tennessee from out of state, which is unconstitutional, super, super dangerous, and that is very unlawful for a lot of reasons. But they're talking about all these hospitals are overflowing with people. Why don't you carry a camera in one of these hospitals that's supposed to be overflowing with COVID patients and show me how empty they are? These chicks are in there doing TikTok dances. But here's the two things that bother me most. Somebody send it a bill. It'll be all right. Let me tell you something. Number one, he has authorized the power of the National Guard to get involved in issues of COVID-19. Hmm? Oh, I know you didn't bargain for this when you came to church, but that's all good. You're here now, so we might as well chit-chat for a minute. If you fall asleep, miss some of it, it'll be on right wing watching Newsweek tonight by 6 o'clock, maybe about 3 o'clock, I guarantee you. But here's what's interesting about that. We look and we're like, well, you know, the National Guard should, should get involved. <laughs> you know what bothers me more about the National Guard getting involved? Why don't you look at Section 8 of what he signed? They have authorized FEMA. Y'all hearing me? Fan all you want. It's about to get hot. They've authorized the, the Tennessee Department of FEMA to build what they call in his own authorized pages of a signature. Quarantine camps. I ain't talking about East Germany. I'm talking about Tennessee. Quarantine camps for the uninformed people that are still in refusal to be vaccinated. Look, if that don't bother you, you might as well show up at another church next week because I'm going to keep raising Cain about all this nonsense. I don't care what Bill Lee says. I don't care what fraudulent fake Joe Biden says. I don't care what Planned Parenthood says. I don't care what Chris Cuomo says. I don't care what Gavin Newsom says. I don't care what Nancy Pelosi and her insurrectionist nonsense has to say. You better wake up, church. You better wake up. They hate us. We are speed bumps to the deep state on the road to their progressive communism. And I'll shout it from the rooftop if I'm the last one. I live by what I say and I will die by what I say if I have to. I'll fight this garbage until my dying breath. <laughs> 